Good morning and happy Wednesday to you, my friends. So if everyone can please stand up and remember that left is green and right is red. And which hand goes over your heart? Right hand facing the flag. And let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty friends, it is now time for recitation. And remember, the very, very first thing we do is, mm -hmm, title and the author, our eyes are on, Mm -hmm. The audience and the audience's eyes are on us, on you. And what kind of voice should you have? A normal voice that is projected. Excellent. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and do our recitation. Ladybug by Joan Walsh, England. A small speckled visitor wearing a crimson cape, brighter than a cherry, smaller than a grape, a polka dotted someone walking on our wall, a black hooded lady in a scarlet shawl. And then don't forget to take your bath. Alrighty friends, it is now time for a morning meeting. So, if yesterday our student of the day was Slaka, let's go ahead and see who today's student of the day will be. So, today's student of the day is Reese Conklin. Come on down, Reese. So, if Reese was here, the very, very first thing Reese would do is turn the clock to morning. And then, of course, Reese would write his first and last name. But because Reese isn't here, who will write his name? Yep, Mrs. Caro. So I'm going to go ahead and write Reese. Better fix this. Alright, and then Mrs. Harlow would give Reese a student of the day sticker. <coughs> Excuse me. And then of course I would give Reese. <coughs> the pointer and say, here you go, my friend, you are on. And Reese would say, this here thing is called a calendar. And this here is called the month. And what month are we in? January. And this here is called the year. And what year are we in? Two. 2021. Now, friends, if yesterday was Tuesday, then that means that today is, <coughs> excuse me, Wednesday. But let's just double check. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And how many days are in a week? Seven days in a week. And let's go ahead and recite the months of the year, beginning with January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And friends, there are 
12 months in a year. Now, it looks like we have a number day missing. Let's go ahead and count and see what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and do our A, B, B, C pattern. Hexagon, triangle, triangle, rectangle. Hexagon, triangle, triangle, rectangle. Hexagon, triangle, triangle, rectangle. Hexagon. And we are looking for what number? Mm -hmm. The number 13. So we'll go ahead and put the number 13 right there. Now let's go ahead and help Reese spell January. So let's help him with the letters in the month beginning with capital J. Now remember, when you are doing Danilian writing, a capital J does not have the line. Okay, followed by Danilian A, Danilian N, Danilian U, Danilian A, Danilian, oh, nope, just regular R, and of course our monkey tail Y, January. And then we're going to finger space and what two digits are we writing today? What two digits? Correct, a one and a three, followed by, mm -hmm. comma is a comma number. No, it is a space. And please help me with the digits in the year. Two, zero, oops. Zero is getting a little fancy there. Two, one. Now really, really quickly, I want you to notice how all of my uppercase letters start at the top, go all the way down to the bottom. Lowercase letters are all written underneath the dotted line. Numbers are written from top to bottom. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and read today's date with Reese. Today's date is Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. Excellent. Now, friends, if yesterday we were here 93 days, what would today be? Well, what comes out to 93? All right, you say 94. Let's go ahead and draw out Mr. Tens and Mrs. Ones. And remember, you have to tell me when to stop. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, oh my gosh, my hands are getting full, 90, ah, okay, I'll stop right there, that's 90, okay, now let's do Mrs. 1's, 91, 92, 93, 94, Ah, okay, I will stop there. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab our days in school on our graph. Am I going to write anything in our 100s column? Nope. How about in Mr. Ten's column? Well, let's see. What is 9 plus 0? Okay, what is 0 plus 9? Mm hmm So we are going to write a 9 in Mr. Ten's column. Okay. And what are we going to write in Mrs. One's column? Let's take a look here. 
2 plus 2 equals 4 more. All right, so we're going to write a 4 in this enormous column. Now, let's compare our days in school tag to our days in school graph. Do we have nine Mr. Tens? How about four Mrs. Ones? So friends, how many days have we been in school? Ninety-four. That sure is a whole lot of days, friends. We're getting very, very close to 100. So let's see really quickly. Let's look at our 100s chart. I just want you to look here really quickly. Okay, in our 100s chart, we are right here at 94. And we need how many more to get to 100? So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in six days, friends, we will have been in school 100 days. That's a whole lot of days, guys. All right, it is now time for our coin cup, coin cup, coin cup. And in our coin cup, we have some coins. Very, very first coin that we have is the... Penny, and a penny is worth, okay, one cent. And when you count pennies, you count them by, okay, by ones. Second coin we have is the, mm -hmm. the dime, and the dime is worth mm -hmm. 10 cents. And when we count dimes, we count them by, correct, by tens. Now, which coin are we going to use first? Which one are we going to count first? Okay, the dime. Yeah, but why? Aha, uh -huh. it is worth more. So I'm going to start off with all of my dimes. When I switch coins, I will hold up the coin and show you that we need to switch our counting. All right, so here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, one. 81 cents. So let's go ahead and write 81 cents on our coin cup. Okay. All right. 80. Hmm. 81 cents. Now let's go ahead and count to see that what's in our coin cup is the on our morning meeting board. 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 81 cents in our morning meeting board and 81 cents in our coin cup. Excellent. All right. It is now time for mystery bag. Dun, dun, dun. All right, friends. So make sure that you turn on your morning meeting, your morning brain, and listen to my clues. So today in my mystery bag, I first placed one pencil in my mystery bag. So picture one pencil. I then put two rulers in my mystery bag. Okay, so picture two rulers. Then I put seven pencils in my bag. I want to know how many pencils are in my bag. So listen again. So today I put one pencil in my mystery bag. I then placed two rulers in my mystery bag. Then I put seven pencils in my mystery bag. I want to know how many pencils are in my bag. Well, do we need the rulers? 
No, I think the rulers are there just to confuse us. Let's take those rulers out and get rid of those because we don't need them. All right, so now I need to know how many pencils I have in my bag. All right, so Corwin, how many pencils are in my bag? So if I had one pencil, I put one in my mystery bag. Then I put seven in my mystery bag. How many pencils should I have? <gasps> Corwin says eight. Thumbs up if you agree. I don't know. That might be a one plus seven or a seven plus one. I don't know. Let's find out. Make sure I've got all of my pencils out. And let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ta-da! Corwin was correct. Please give Corwin a round of applause. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Great job, Corwin. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and count by tens, friends. But you know what? Today we're gonna count by tens backwards. We're gonna start counting from up here. 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Zero. Now go forward. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Excellent. Go ahead and count by fives. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Let's do odds. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, one. Let's go ahead and count by hundreds. Zero, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, one thousand. Now let's go backwards. 1,900, 800, 700, 600, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, zero. Excellent. Friends, let's go ahead and count by twos. But today, let's just count it based on just doing the numbers instead of cheering. Let's see if we can do it without having to cheer. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Zero. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Excellent, my friends. Great job. Let's go over here and look at today's pattern. Uh, today's pattern has been written for us, but part of it is missing. We have 53, 52, 51. How are we counting? Mm -hmm. We're counting backwards by ones. So 53, 52, 51, 50. Great job. Oh, this one might be hard. All right. 53, 52, 51, 50. What comes before 50? Very, very good. 49. All right. Hey, you guys are surprising me. Great job. 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48. Excellent. Aye, 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 my friends. You guys are so smart. I am so impressed that you knew how to count backwards. Great job, my friends. All right. Let's look at our digital clock. Digital clock reads 9 o'clock. Analog clock reads four o'clock. So we have to match our analog to match our digital. Our, our hand is the short hand or the red hand. The minute hand is the long one or the blue one. So we're going to have to find nine o'clock. So I want you to tell me when to stop. 
keep going, three, keep going. Ah! I'll go back, you said. Okay. All right, tell me when to stop. Okay, I will stop right there. Now let's look. The hour hand or the short hand is on the nine. The long hand or the minute hand is on the 12. And remember friends, when we are writing o'clock, our 12 has to go past the 12, okay? So analog clock reads nine o'clock. Digital clock reads nine o'clock. We match perfectly. All righty, friends. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Make sure that today you are bringing, oh, bring your whiteboards because we're going to work on tally marks. Okay. All righty, friends. I will see you guys in just a bit.